Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. This is Tim Ross here at ringside with Jerry the King Lawler. We're just one month away from WrestleMania. And here's the man who'll be going to the granddaddy of them all as the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title. And what a match that's gonna be, JR. But WrestleMania is still four weeks away. And if I were him, I'd stay focused on his match right here tonight. That's some good advice, King. If the challenger isn't fully prepared to meet the monster he's getting in the ring with here tonight, he might not make it to WrestleMania. And the opponent, weighing 326 pounds, Kane. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another sold out Raw event from Portland, Oregon. Well, it's been too long since Raw has come to Portland, JR. These fans are going crazy. Oh! He's a slippery devil. Boy, this John Cena is his own biggest fan. How come all of these rappers can't talk about anything except how great they are? I don't think there's anything wrong with that game. Cena's got some impressive accomplishments to his credit. I think he's got every right to be proud. Well, you know what they say, JR. Pride goes before a fall. And from the looks of things, John Cena's got a heck of a fall ahead of him. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't appear to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. These superstars are going to put each other through wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have indeed, King. I don't think there's an ounce of quit between them. Yeah, that's where things get dangerous. If you're too proud to admit that it's not your night, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. But at the same time, King, no one makes it up the ladder without pushing themselves to the very limit. Look at the confidence radiating off this superstar. All I see is an overconfident superstar who's throwing away the match by not following up. I think it's pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR, but I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that I'll admit it, it's a little scary to watch up close, but I love watching Kane go to work. He's practically unstoppable. He's certainly not stopped by confidence, that's for sure. Kane will crush anyone and anything that stands between him and his objective. You say that like it's a bad thing, JR. I think it's great. No one forces a superstar to get into the ring against Kane. And if they aren't up to the challenge, they're probably not cut out for the WWE. Oh, here we go. What a jerk. How about continuing the match? I don't think he's in any hurry to end this one, King. And I don't think the crowd wants it to end either. He countered that one perfectly. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you sure they can afford it, JR? This match has the potential to be an instant classic. And I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, Dean? 
How can you insult the intelligence of these WWE fans? Well, I heard that we gave them an IQ test, and the results came back negative. Folks, I've got to apologize for the king here tonight. He must have gotten up on the wrong side of somebody else's bed this morning. There aren't many superstars as diverse and talented as John Cena. He's as good in the ring as he is on the microphone, and that's saying something. I won't argue with you about Cena's mic skills. He sure can't talk a good game. But when it comes right down to it, I don't think he can back it up. King, you're as crazy as a pet thing. Did you happen to notice that Cena held the WWE and the United States titles? Seems to me like he's got no problem putting his money where his mouth. If there's oh, right. the submission, there might not be any way out of it. There better be, or we're gonna see a tap out right here. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. Oh, man. This is an excruciating but effective method of winning a match. Yeah, and it's a surefire method of birth control, too. It looks like he's helping his opponent do a little family planning here, JR. Well, that's one way to do it, King. I don't think we're going to be seeing any youngins in this superstar's immediate future. These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What do you expect, King? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, tell me more about your in-ring experience. Well, I've got a pinfall victory over Triple H for my credit. How about you? Look at this, JR. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't, King. I truly believe Raw is the dominant brand in sports entertainment. And you hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. Absolutely not. It looks like he's fixing to end this one. Oh, man! What a choke slam! That'll do it, JR. <laughs> Can use the word monster to this. And now a pin! This could be One, it! Two. There's the kick out! I thought that was it for sure! Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR! John Cena's a thug! You know it! I know it! And all of these people know it! It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, Ken. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these fans, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. There's a difference between entertaining... These fans love confidence in their superstar, and that's just what they're seeing from him here tonight. Well, he can do this until the cows come home, but that's not going to win him the match. The very sight of Kane makes my blood run cold. What an inhuman monster he is. You say monster like it's a bad thing, JR. But everyone loves a monster, whether they want to admit it or not. Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman never go out of style. Well, there's a big difference between seeing a monster in a movie and knowing that a real-life monster like Kane is walking the earth. They sure do, and there it is, the FU. What an impact! He's going for the cover, JR. One, two, three.
Is it too late for me to back out of WrestleMania? Well, it seems like the champion's attitude hasn't improved since the last time we saw him. If that's all you're gonna bring to the main event of WrestleMania, you might as well not even lace up your damn boots. You see this? This doesn't leave my waist unless I say it does. It's called the champion's advantage. If I get disqualified, I keep the title. And you get Jack. But I got a deal for you. You go to SmackDown this Friday night and send my ungrateful ex-protege Randy Orton a message. You pin him, one, two, three. And I'll make our title match a no DQ match. But if you screw up, you're not getting a damn thing from me, except the beating of your life at WrestleMania. The game has offered his challenger a deal with the devil. Will he accept? He's not a fool. If he's serious about winning at WrestleMania, this is just too good a deal to pass up. Well, we've just received word that SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long has in fact agreed to this match as a way to cross-promote WrestleMania. And this man, Randy Orton, certainly seems up to the challenge. Orton's not sweating nothing, Cole. This kid has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest legends in this business, and he ain't gonna back down from some clown from Raw. I mean, let's face it. He may be the number one contender on Raw, but this ain't Raw. This is SmackDown. SmackDown won't be intimidated by some raw contender, and neither will Randy Orton. As you mentioned, he's the number one contender for Triple H's WWE title Taz, but he's here to take on Randy Orton at Triple H's urging. Yeah, how messed up is that? Who takes orders from the guy they're gonna be fighting for the title? I'm Michael Cole alongside Taz, and we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's gonna get its face rocked, and I can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That, what a deadly submission oh, hole this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, you're going to enjoy it in peace. You excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind a superstar the way they have for John 
Cena. Yeah, that's great, Cole. No doubt the WWE fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not a popularity contest. It's a physical athletic competition. I don't think Cena's got any problem with being physical either. There aren't many superstars who have accomplished what he has between those ropes. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on this match. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm... I think we know where he's going with this, Cole. Here it comes. The FU. He just drove his opponent straight into the ground. <laughs> and there's the pin. Here's your winner, John Cena! Gotta hand it to you. You made Orton look like the chump I always said he was last week. And now you've got yourself a no DQ match at WrestleMania. And since you seem to be enjoying yourself over there on SmackDown, how about teaching Batista the same lesson? I want to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that without me, he's nothing. If you pin Batista, I'll give you your choice of match at WrestleMania. That's not the kind of offer I throw around every day. So I'd suggest, take it. How do you think Batista feels about Triple H sending Raw's number one contender fresh off a fight with Randy Orton after him, Taz? I bet he's about as confused as I am, Cole. I still think you gotta be nuts to listen to anything Triple H says, especially if you're about to fight him for the title. This is the second week he's come over from Raw to challenge one of Triple H's former Evolution teammates. And I can't say I blame him. Triple H has offered him quite an incentive. Yeah, if he wins here tonight, he gets his choice of a match at WrestleMania. But I still smell a rat, Cole. If you ask me, I think he's making a big mistake invading SmackDown's turf like this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. Coming to you tonight from Charlotte, North Carolina. Deep in the heart of wrestling country, Cole. This crowd is fired up, and I'll tell you what, so am I. 
An enthusiastic crowd and the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. You can't ask for more than that. You saw that one coming. All right, time to see what kind of toys we got under the ring. Yeah, that's it. Do it again. Look out. The referee's been knocked out. And this is where things start getting a little interesting, Cole. What an impact. That's going to do some damage. You're not kidding, Cole. That's got to hurt like hell. He anticipated that move perfectly. Looks like he's decided to grab a weapon from under the ring. I don't think there's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gone from rookie to WWE champion as quickly as John Cena has. Yeah, Cole, but you said it yourself. John Cena has shot up real quick. He ain't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have. What a shot. That sledgehammer will mess you up for good. And I can't imagine how anyone could come back from something like that. I think we know where he's going with this, Cole. Here he comes. The FU. He just drove his opponent straight into the ground. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on this match. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, that, there's a lot of things under the ring, and all of them hurt. Oh my God, what a chair shot! Yeah, and that don't tickle. Believe me, young lady. Man, what a chair shot. It reminds me of the old ECW days. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. The ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. You know, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well, then, that's just the way to cook the There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of the job. Man, it, I'll tell you what, man, this one just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We've both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what of submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. I think these fans know what's coming next. You know it, Cole. The FU. Man, get a load of that power. He could pin his opponent right here. One, two, three. Here comes Orton. Oh my God! What an impact! This isn't right. I may not always agree with the motives of Randy Orton and Batista, but they're SmackDown superstars, and that's a SmackDown ring. I can't believe Teddy Long would let a Raw superstar come to SmackDown like this and make his superstars look bad. I hope you've had fun invading SmackDown for the past couple weeks, because you're about to get a taste of your own medicine. 
See, Batista and I are coming to Raw this week, and you and Triple H had better be ready for the ass-kicking of a lifetime. He spent the last couple of weeks stirring the pot on SmackDown at the behest of WWE Champion Triple H. But it seems to me that the shoe's on the other foot tonight. This is great! He's gonna have a chance to embarrass not one, but two of SmackDown's top superstars right here tonight on Raw. There's no question why they call this man the Cerebral Assassin. He's had the number one contender for his own title doing his dirty work for him for weeks now. You're only telling half the story, JR. Triple H offered him some pretty nice perks for doing those favors. And when you're facing the game for the title at WrestleMania, you got to take every advantage you can get. All right, Triple H, I've played your little game, and now I want what's coming to me. Way I figure it, we got some business to settle. And it's all about our title match at WrestleMania. Fine with me. You know, I gotta admit, I didn't expect you to be able to handle Batista the way you did last week. And that chair shot to Orton was just priceless. And now I'm starting to regret making the offer that I made. But as you know, I'm a man of my word. So what's it gonna be, chump? When you step into the ring with the game for the greatest prize in this industry, in the biggest match of all time, what kind of match is it gonna be? It's been a while since we've seen SmackDown's Randy Orton on Raw, King. It looks to me that the legend killer is ready and spoiling for a fight. Yeah, but he's getting into the ring with a man with whom he shares a lot of history and one historic grudge, Triple H. so long since I've seen Batista up close and in person that I forgot what a physical specimen he is. I think he's only gotten more impressive and that's saying something. He may be an animal, but don't forget, Triple H taught Batista everything Batista knows. Unfortunately for Batista, Triple H didn't teach him everything Triple H knows.
This is Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler, and we welcome you to live raw action from Providence, Rhode Island. Can you believe how loud these fans are, JR? They know they're about to see the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. You're not wrong, King. The Raw superstars never fail to impress, and I can't wait to get started. Oh, no! I don't like the looks of this! He's got the fans behind him, King, and his opponent had better watch out. Oh, no! This is terrible! You can't let your opponent build this kind of momentum! Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying their prayers. It looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools right in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've gotten a little too much good Oklahoma barbecue about it. My God! The brutality! Someone has to stop this! Easy, JR. That's not the announcer's job. Leave that sort of thing to security and the referee. He countered that and made it look easy. He saw that one coming. Oh boy, the adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No, it can't end like this. Come on, do something quick. seen here tonight. He isn't fooling around here, JR. Not with that pedigree he isn't. Oh, what a debilitating maneuver. I think this crowd has decided to exercise the right of free speech. God bless the First Amendment, JR. His opponent telegraphed that one. This is a classic matchup, King. I'm so glad the WWE fans are getting the chance to see it. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm getting to see it too, JR. I just wish they'd pick up the pace a little. Oh no, this is classic old school wrestling at its finest. You, of all people, should be able to appreciate that, King. Wait a minute, JR. You're not trying to say that I'm old, are you? Of course not, King. Although there was that rumor going around about your social security number was one. You talk about ruthless aggression. Look at the way these superstars have been going after each other. They're not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be... Oh, oh man! No! No! Something like that. Come on, JR. You know that the referee's health plan doesn't include vision. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And there's the submission. There might not be any way out of it. There better be. But we're going to see a tap out right here. You know, JR. I wasn't too sure about it, but it's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I'm not at all surprised, King. I knew that he's got his opponent in position. I think he's going for it. No, it can't be. Not the FU. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented as John Cena. He's as good in the ring as he is on the microphone, and that's safe. The submission is locked in. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, JR. You can't go on without tapping after this. A reversal. Can he capitalize on it? His opponent's down. He's going for it. And there it is. He's got the STFU. These 
superstars are going to put each other. He's got his opponent locked in a submission hole. We can see a tap out right here, JR. He turned the tables on his opponent with that one. This match has the potential to be an instant classic. And I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, Kenny? After you insult me and help. Oh no! Everybody in this arena knows what's coming next! This could be a pinball! One, two, three! What a match that was, King! Orton and Batista are going to be bringing some bruises back with them to SmackDown, that's for sure. They went through the ringer, no doubt about it. Triple H has risked his champion's advantage at WrestleMania for the sake of teaching his former Evolution teammates a lesson. Talk about holding a grudge. And now I have to wonder whether or not Triple H might have given up too much. Oh my gosh! Damn it, I knew it was too good to be true. Triple H is going after him for that damn sledgehammer. Triple H is absolutely destroying his WrestleMania challenger with that sledgehammer. This just isn't right. But considering his recent actions, there might be some unsympathetic SmackDown fans in the crowd. Did he really think Triple H wasn't just waiting for his chance to do something like that? They're competing for the WWE title at WrestleMania this summer. It comes only once a year, the Showcase of the Immortals. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of WrestleMania. I'm ready, the King is ready, and despite the events that transpired last week, you better believe that this superstar is ready for the fight of his life. You know, JR, after what Triple H did to him with that sledgehammer on Monday, I can't believe he's even standing, let alone walking down the ramp for a title match at WrestleMania. That's the fighting heart of a champion, King. You can't pass up an opportunity like this one. And I have to believe he's got some payback in mind for Triple H. The Cerebral Assassin's going to WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. But will he leave here tonight with his title? We've seen his maneuvering over the past few weeks in anticipation of this match. But you have to wonder if Triple H has lit a fire under his opponent that started to burn out of the game's control. You're kidding, right? My money's on Triple H. I mean, let's face it, he suckered his opponent into running himself ragged doing his dirty work all month. I hate to agree with that, King, but you might be right. Triple H knows he's injured, and now he's easy pickings for the game.
looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, Jay? You can't blame the superstars for looking under the ring for weapons. Anything you find under there can be a huge help. He's bringing the hammer down, JR. He sure is. And the longer he holds that sledgehammer, the uglier it's going to get. And what a slumber knocker of a shot with that sledgehammer. That'll rearrange your facial features for sure, JR. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented as John Cena. He's as good as... My God! A thunder of the referee is out, King! Will we see someone take advantage? I'd be disappointed in them if they didn't, JR. This is a great opportunity! He just stole his opponent's finishing move! Talk about adding insult to injury, JR! If you root around under the ring long enough, you're bound to find a weapon of some sort or another. Good Lord, what an impact! That's the way to do it! Keep going! What a reversal! Did you see that? That's gonna leave a mark. I think that's the whole idea, King. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about... You're not gonna get him with that one. He reversed it! I think I know who's gonna win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten us, King. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? Because I wanna know who's gonna win. And nine times out of ten, it's not the superstar you pick. Been looking forward to this match all night, JR. I can't believe it's finally underway. This has been, oh no! Everybody in this arena knows what's coming next! After some of the things we've seen in this ring, JR, I think we'd better remind the folks at home not to try this stuff themselves. That's for damn sure, King. The WWE superstars are trained professionals. And even they don't walk away from every match in the best shape. They sure don't. So long, ref. Sweet dreams. It's going to be a while before the referee gets up from that. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes from the price of admission. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it, I know it, and all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a WWE superstar. I don't know how you can say that, King. Cena has dedicated himself to entertaining these fans, and quite frankly, I find him to have more character than many so-called respectable superstars. I think someone's looking for a weapon under the ring. This could get ugly. What a vicious chair shot. That chair was never meant to be used like that, JR. <clears throat> These superstars are putting on a great match. Good grief. I don't care how tough you are. A chair shot is a chair shot. And you can't take too many of those and expect to continue. Oh, man! Did you hear that chair shot, JR? I'd be surprised if there was a single person in this arena who didn't, King. Wow! Listen to these fans, JR! You can fool some of the people all the time, and all the people some of the time, but there's no feeling the WWE fans at all. I think it's pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR. But I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that would be... I think someone's going for a high-risk move, JR! This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely... Look at the fans, JR! They know what's coming next! 
They sure do. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. I don't think these superstars have any intention of taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And quite frankly, I think these fans would be disappointed if they didn't go all out. Well, that's easy for the fans to say. They've never set foot inside that ring. No, but they spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on inside it. And without them, we'll all be out of the job. He isn't fooling around here, JR. Not for that pedigree he is. Oh, oh, what a debilitating maneuver. Boy, Boy this Man. John Cena is his own biggest fan. How come all of these rappers can't talk about anything except how great they are? I don't think there's anything wrong with that, King. Cena's got some impressive accomplishments to his credit. I think he's got every right to be proud. Well, you know what they say, Jay. Well, he gave it everything he had. But in the end, he just got outplayed by the game. There's no shame in that. I guess that depends on your outlook, King. Triple H is a formidable champion without question. But I have to say, his methods are clearly controversial at best. And his attitude certainly leaves something to be desired, if you ask me. That might be true, JR. But be that as it may, next time somebody's got a title opportunity against Triple H, maybe they shouldn't be so quick to do the champion's dirty work for him. Nonetheless, what an amazing WrestleMania this has been. I can't wait for next year, and I know these men can't either.